Welcome back to another episode of All The Mods 9. So let's get caught up with what I've been doing in between episodes. As you can see, we are not descending. So I have, in between episodes, upgraded our jetpack to Old Modium, which was pretty, pretty easy. There is more, but I'm just happy that we don't descend and it's actually true hover. Uh, what else have I been doing? I have um, built some more of the base, trying to figure out what I want, where I want everything, but for now, just some walls up makes it look a lot better. I do need to figure out what I'm doing with the ceiling. I have moved our setup down here. It needs a bit of decoration, but it is now automated. And uh, we did that just using a modular router and some puller and sender modules and a gold crafter on the bottom. So that's pretty much just for the end calls. But yeah, that, that all works. I will decorate this at some point. What else have I done? Um, added some more seeds. So I think we've got, what, 10 now? So we've got plenty of... Oop, it's a lot faster. We've got plenty of Nether Star Essence, and I've crafted quite a lot of... Oop, this is a lot faster. <laughs> crafted quite a lot of Nether Stars. We can turn down the uh, the speed of the jetpack. So now, a little bit more manageable. And I also set up uh, Wither Skeletons. So when I got some Wither Skeletons, and that's been running for quite some time, we're not doing anything with the Wither Skeleton stuff. Oh no, this, this is set up. It just only shows you what you've got when something goes in. Um, but this has become self-aware, so 99.5% accuracy. This is still superior, which is the withers, and uh, this is also superior. But they'll get there eventually. So what I wanted to do today was look at bobbly heart canisters. So in between episodes, I did add some um, yellow heart canisters and finished off our red ones. So the yellow ones, all we needed was apples and the red ones and these yellow heart canisters came from uh, the yellow hearts came from the wither predictions which i had on temporarily just until we got some yellow hearts the next one is if we search bobbly i believe the green ones so we got the never stars now we can make the yellow ones uh we need to sort out chocolate shells which we don't have a supply of yet but I'm thinking going to the nether and getting uh, some shulker, oh, not nether, to the end and getting some shulker predictions. And while we go there to get the miniature green hearts, we're going to have to do the ender dragon. So we will do the ender dragon as well, I think, which will sort out the green canisters. After that is the blue one, which is netherite, which we think we have got a lot of. Uh, we've got emerald. All we need is the blue hearts, which... It's evokers or wardens. Evokers are pretty good because we can get all of this. And we know where plenty of those are in the other. So that's what we're going to work on. So to do that, we're going to need our hostile tools. So we need the deep learner. And we're going to need some more model frameworks. That's annoying. Um, Ender Dragon, Evoker, we need another one. You know what, let's just make two. And we've got all four. And to summon the Ender Dragon, we're going to need some Ender Crystals. Which we can make. Um, I have Ender, let's make some of those. Uh, how many do we want to make? Let's just make 30. We're probably not going to use this many crystals, but and we can make gas tiers with this. Sixteen because we ran out of glass. Let's make some more glass. There we go, 30. 
So let's go kill the Ender Dragon a few times first. Um, we'll re-equip our Heart Amulet, which apparently doesn't want to shift click in. There we go. Now it does. Put this stupid chest plate on. I still hate the Elytra Flight, and I wish there was a way to toggle it off. And I think that is us ready. So let's go to the end. Uh, let's change the throttle. Oops. And I believe. Oops, someone's clearly still angry with me. I believe we just placed the end crystals on here. And that should resummon the dragon. Right, let's get up in the air because these um, endermen are pretty annoying. That's all the spires reforming. The dragon should come in. Right, let's make sure we get a um, framework, a model of the dragon, and put that in. So we're going to need to kill. If we get three per kill, we're going to need to kill two, so that's fine. Well, let's see if we can. Yeah, we can. We can take these. Oops. We heal enough and we've got enough hearts, it doesn't really matter. Oops, this one's really far down. At some point we should probably look at getting a ranged weapon, but I... that up, didn't I? We're going to have to kill it twice. Oh no, it did count. You don't need to equip it. That's good. Right, let's summon it again. Did we get all the kill drops? Um, let's turn on my backpack. Let's make sure we picked up everything from the dragon. There's some XP. Not sure where he like his body he disappears to, but All right. Let's summon another one, and we now have the basic model for the dragon. And I'm just looking for some shulkers. What are these? Void stone, ruined citadel. What does void stone do? Decoration. Okay. I wonder if there's going to be any shulkers inside here. Something's here. There is a shulker. And we need to kill six. Alright, turn hover mode on and you can pretty much disable what the shulkers do to you. Do we need any of this? Is any of this actually any good? A little bit of uh, sound issues there. Random, just a, a jest. Yeah. Oh, there's there's some. Here we go. What are you? A loot shulker. Cool. Flamingo. We'll take the flamingo. 
Oh. You have a lot of health. And hit very hard. I don't think we're ready for this battle. He's gonna kill us. How do I get out of here? Am I in a maze now? There's another one. I will pass, thank you. And another one. Okay. Um, I'm not that familiar with this end mod, but I don't think we're ready for this. What I want to do is I want to get a better sword, and then um, it should be a lot easier. But hoping we can find our last shulker. I haven't yet found a shulker, but this guy's on pretty low health, so... There we go. He's dead. I don't know what we... A void car. Right click to summon void runes. Interesting. Void assault shoulder weapon. I will have to do some research on the Cataclysm mod and see what it's all about. But we only need one shulker and I cannot find one. And there we go. Uh, didn't find any end cities, which I was flying around looking for, but I did find another one of these. I managed to find the same room with three more in. So next we need to go back to the other. To get some evokers. Easy thing to do. There are plenty of evokers. Plenty of evokers in this place. Um... Annoyingly fast, though. There we go. Basic model complete. I will go back to base and set these up in our system. That's everything set up. Um, we'll change these out at some point because we're not going to need an infinite supply of green and blue hearts. However, I think the Evoker one... I don't know. Sorry. The Shulker one can stay on Shulker shells. Um... So that is slowly going. I don't think we've got too many at the moment, but we can make some, I think. There we go. We ran out of green hearts. Green hearts come from the Ender Dragon. Um, so we just have to wait for those. But that will help us sort out our heart container. Heart amulet. Which gives us quite a lot of uh, hearts. I'm pretty sure it's one per, so we can have 40 hearts. However, we can upgrade this to a soul amulet and use soul heart canisters again. To get souls, we need echo shards. So we will have to go kill the warden and get a prediction on the warden. Emeralds, uh, miniatures, they come from evokers or wardens. But the warden predictions also do the echo shards, which is what we'll need. And then I want to have a look at the vitality blade because I what you can do with this is also put more canisters in it and it'll increase its damage and I'm pretty sure the damage goes up reasonably high. Because of health packages. Anyway, I will craft the rest of these when we have the hearts. Got blue hearts as well. So I will craft the rest of these as well. And then we will look at getting a soul heart. From Echo Shards. I think we should have some Echo Shards anyway. Yeah. Maybe I left them in the other base. I will go have a look and I'll be back when I have crafted up everything. I don't know if I mentioned this in the last episode or not, but I moved our system down here. So this is generating some quite a bit of power for us. And this has filled up completely. So... I can't, I'm not sure how much power it was doing, but it's about about 50k. I think this has probably turned off. No, it's on at the minute. 
However, yeah, we've got plenty of power now. So I'm thinking what we could can do is actually use our network. And that is very spammy. So did I put down our network torch or did I leave it? Behind this wall somewhere. I did leave it behind this wall. What we can do is just stick it there and put in the range booster. Now, oops, what we need to do, do we just shift right click it? There we go. We can have wireless access to our crafting grid, our system, which should help us. And I believe it is infinite range. So this is using now 5,000 FE per tick, but that should be no problem. Is that what this was? Infinite range only works in the same dimension. What we can do is get a dimension card. Because we have plenty of stuff. And just like that, there is our dimension card. And we'll get rid of that one. I'm pretty sure that is as far as we can go. There is nothing more. And that uses even more power. But let's have a look at our networking system. We're drawing 19,000 and we've got easily more generation. Yeah, easily more generation. So we should be fine with that. Uh, let's check up on our baubles. Oops, don't leave a space there. And what can we make? Ooh. Eight. How many did we need for this? Awesome. So now we're on to the blue ones. So we do just need to wait and craft some more green ones to get the blue ones. We just need to wait for the miniature green hearts to come from the Ender Dragon prediction, but it might take a little time because oh, we're on advanced. It's only 23%, but that will eventually get there. They're all advanced now. Yeah. Back in a few. We now have all 40 heart canisters. And we're going to go and kill the warden. We're going to get his uh, model. And let's see how much this takes us up. I don't even know what colour to call that. But that's a lot of hearts. Does it tell us I'm here how many hearts we've got? I don't changed. 164 health. I don't know if that's 164 hearts or if one heart's two health, but that's still quite a lot. Let's get rid of that. Um, oh, and what else I did is I took our wireless crafting grid and put it in a curious slot. And now mine's set to control G because that's default. We can just access that without it taking up any more space in our inventory. I still don't know why I have the shovel and the axe because our pickaxe does everything. So that's pretty pointless. But I believe further down the line. Titanium. I think we can make a Paxel. Possibly. I think everything makes a Paxel. Yeah, there is a Paxel, so we do need everything at some point. Yeah. And I think we need... Yeah, all the modium. Oh, we need an all the modium, not a... Uh... Okay, well, we can do that at some point. But let's go to... The Ancient City. I think that's the right one. Possibly. Yes, this is the right place. We can do some looting. While waiting for something to spawn. I'll take the golden apples. Ooh, is he spawned already? Where are you? Hmm. 
Maybe he hasn't spawned. Let's just do some running. Come on. I'm not even sure if we're... Oh, just take the hover off. I'm not sure if we can even defeat him yet. I haven't tried since the first time we did this. Here we go. Where are you? I can hear you. I cannot see you though. Where are you? There you are. Oh, look at that. And we forgot to frame model him. Again. <laughs> I jumped the gun. We can kill him though, that's pretty easy. There we go, we got his framework. Let's put him in. And we need to kill six. Oh, he's stuck us to the spot. Easy peasy. Four more to go. Oh, it's spawning in the same spot again. I wonder if it can spawn more than one. Where are you? That wasn't very nice. I don't like what he hits us with. Gooey chilled. Gooey and chilled. There's another one spawning. know what killed me. I don't even have a tempad. Interesting. We only need the one more. And we're done. I have no idea what killed me there. Let's put that back in there. I'm missing a backpack, but they seem to like going onto your back. There we go. We've got a lot of hearts of the deep, which I don't think they can do too much with. No, absolutely not. Do we need, wait, do we need these? Yeah, we do. So we do need the heart of the deeps and we can automate them. That's great. Ooh, take some time with this. Okay, well, um, I'm not gonna bother killing him. Let's go home. And I will set up the rest of this with our new... Have you gone into my bag as well? Where is it? Deep learner. There you go. With our new one of these. And I will be back in a moment. Well, that's all set up. Now we just need to wait for some predictions to come through so I can make some more Echo Shards. However, with the ones that we got, I have made first soul heart crystal and uh, now we have a soul heart amulet and i believe yeah there we go soul heart canisters in the middle which require stuff we need blue canisters and totems of undying that should be easy enough to do blue canisters what did we need for those green yellow okay so i need to make i need to make 10 more of these things Diamonds. That 
just make crap both of these. There we go. We have diamonds in the system. Where are we? This, this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I ran out of apples. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, apples. Where can we? Oh, nature essence. I'll do sixty-four. There we go. Six. We're probably gonna have to do this all over again if the, if I'm correct in the vitality blade needing all the hearts as well. What are we missing now? Iron. Imagine. We really need to like put an amount for the system to keep of each of these items, because this is pretty annoying. That every time I go in, I have to craft up iron and glass and stuff like that. There is a way to do it. I just don't remember. I will... I'm sure we'll figure that out at some point. Right, there we go. That should be those. Please tell me we've got enough wither bones. I do. Right, what's next? We'll just work its way through. Probably going to run out of enchanted golden apples. So yep, yeah, knew it. Blocks. Oh, gold. <laughs> well, this is fun. At least we now at least have the apples to do this. Still don't have enough gold blocks. Oh, I made 10, but we didn't need 10, but it doesn't really matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, I'll do. Green again. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. Was it green that we needed? We need blue. Okay, that's fine. And then, all we need is some red hearts. Red hearts and some totems of some dying, which we have here. I don't know how many that is. And a smithing table. There we go. Can I do something wrong? What did we need? Oh, another totem from dying. I didn't get enough totems. And there is all ten. Now we can equip this and forget about it. Let us have a look at making this blade. Hopefully, we can get the echo shards, which needs warden prediction. Do we have a warden? We have one! Is all we need to set this up. Export ward and prediction and make echo shards. Awesome. Vitality blade. Right, so we need a canister of each. This should be fun. Okay, so I will craft this up because you don't need to watch this again and I'll bring you back in in a few. We're back and I've got everything crafted that we need. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare. So if you go into this, it tells you your attack damage. At the moment, with our old sword, it's 39. I'll give it that it's got some um, enchants on there that probably don't count towards that. I'm not sure. Let's have a look at what the Vitality Blade does at the moment. It only does 9. But if we shift click, let's put in the heart canisters. Oh, the first ones. That's 29. So we're doing all right already. Next one. 49, 69, 89 damage. Wow. So that's, that does pretty good compared. It's an extra 50 hearts. Oh, 50 damage, sorry. But this is completely unenchanted. I don't know if we have the right enchants for this that I want. The sharpness is there. So there's sharpness 6 on that one. Um, anvil. Anvil, anvil, anvil. There it is. What do you do? Oh, me 22. I do. Let's 
to capturing and sharpness. That'll do. Night it goes up. It goes up four. That's ninety two. That's only sharpness. Seven. And ours has got sharpness. Oh, sorry, that's sharpness six. Ours has got sharpness seven. I mean, it's still ninety two damage. Which is pretty good. But we do need to get some more enchants on this. Um, yeah. I wonder if sharpness. What sharpness can we go up to? Might just says sharpness five. And there's always gems, but you can't put any gems on this. I don't think you can't transform it. However, it's still a pretty good blade, 92 damage, so it will probably replace this one for now. And um, this might help us quite a bit in killing pig liches because they have crap loads of health. Well, I think we're going to hold off on that until we've got better gear, maybe? Can we do better gear without pig lich? I'm not too sure. I think you might need the pig liches for, for this gear. Yes, you do. Look at that. Pig lich heart. Not the modium. And crap load of FE. So what I have done while I was waiting is add another one of these down. So I, What's that? Another maybe 40,000 FE per tick? Not that we need the power at the minute, but eventually we will. Because this uses up quite a lot of power now. That's 256 steel, that's 1024. That's 4 grand. 500, that's not much. That's 700. 2.5. But I think if we look at the pig lich one and have a look in here, this uses. 16,000 FE per tick, so yeah, that's quite a lot. So what I wanted to do was test out our new sword, and I thought of no other better place than to try and kill this nether monstrosity. And it's going to get very loud in a minute, and let's go for it. It has a lot of HP. That's really annoying. <laughs> Our health's holding up pretty well. Just about a third of the way there. The sword is so much better. I can't even see him. Whoa. Spinning. This sword is better. It just swings so much faster.
Well, let's turn our backpack on so we don't lose any of the loot. Can't even see the guy. Where do you go? Oh, there he is. There we go. Now the monstrosity. I don't know where that heart canister came from. Do we get anything? A monstrous horn and a destructive infernal forge of the scholar. When in your main hand, right click at a block to cause AOE damage. Huh. Okay. Well. Yeah. So, you pretty much saw that this sword isn't as good as I originally thought. I don't know if it's because we've got enchants or more pierce, lifesteal, fire damage. I don't know. But it, we can swing this so much faster, as was evident. I mean, look at the attack speed. 9.72, that's pretty damn fast compared to 1.6. Anyway, it was an interesting choice, even if it was... I mean, interesting to find out, even if it was completely <laughs> pointless. I don't know where this heart canister came from. Are we missing one out of here? Soul heart canister. Did we die? Did they... Maybe we did. Huh. Okay. So they keep you alive as well. Interesting. But yeah. Um, that's enough of being here. Currently in the end with our, unob with our newly crafted unobtainium site. Looking for unobtainium ore in N Highlands. This is how much easier it is when you've got your site. So my plan is to get the seeds for the, all the modium ores. Make a um, make a seed farm like our others, but for that we need blocks to make the seeds, and this is the only way at the moment to get them. At some point we will get into bees. Oh, oh, that's annoying. We'll get into bees, but for now this will be a better way. Well, an okay way, I suppose. Got everything we need to create the seeds. Your backpack's turned off before we go near there. So let's kill this guy first. Right. Let's make all the modium one first. And I didn't bring enough insanium blocks there, but that's fine because we can just make one like that. So much easier having um wireless system now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create another hyper box. I actually think we might have a hyper box that I... Uh... No, I don't. Another hyper box. Do the exact same as what we've done with this hyper box. All planted and done. All growing slowly, but surely. I don't know why these aren't fertilized as well. Doesn't really matter. Before we go, make sure we claim the chunks. And force load them. There we go. Force loaded. So what I did do is I edited the... Um, if you see in the bottom left, I edited how many I can force load. Because this is a single player, so I don't really need... I don't really care about causing lag for other people. Because obviously it's a single player. But I do care about having everything loaded. And um, so I just increased it. Because I think default maybe 25, which might not be enough. But anyway, we'll see how that goes. Um, if anyone wants to know how to do it, just let me know and I'll let you know. But that is all the modium ores automated. What we do need to do, though, is make some more of the fertilized... Sorry, one second. Lost my train of thought. Um, lily pads of fertility. So we need more of these, which means we need more of, oh, 
need more dye, which we do have dye essence automated now, so that should work. There we go. So I'm going to place the rest of these. So that's the maximum amount of um, speed up, speed increase possible. I don't know if this is going to be enough. Possibly just enough by one. There we go. So that's going fast. It's got its own um, ender chest getting done so it doesn't back up with the others. Uh, we'll probably increase the number of these over time. I will automate the um, creation of seeds because manually doing it is a big pain in the butt. So I'll move this, or maybe I'll leave it here and automate it with uh, modular routers like I did downstairs for the power. Power, power stuff, yeah, power. Power, yeah, the power stuff. Uh, speaking of power, now that we have a reasonably good supply of N star, uh, nether stars, we could look at the nitro crystals. So, making these seeds, we need the blocks which require these and those and them. 20 million FE. That gets a 16. So we could look at doing this. Actually. Quickly before the end of the episode. Um, right, Nitro Crystal. Let's do that. Block of blazing crystal is just these. So that should. Where did I put all of these? That's a blazing crystal. That's a nitro crystal. Is this gonna work? Let's find out, shall I? So if I put this in here, we need another star, two blocks of redstone, and a blazing crystal. Nether star. Redstone. Let's create ten of those. Blazing crystal. Oops. Craft some of those. Right, let's have a look at this, shall we? So how did I set this up again? Okay, so those are whitelisted. This is not going to work because it's on round robin and it's expecting these first. So that's fine. What we can do is I can duplicate this cell. So get another modular root and place it there and do the whole thing for this one instead. Well, I'll mess around with that. I'll uh, see if I can get it to work. But how about we just do this for now? That's going to give us 20 million. That's going to take 20 million RF. So it's doing 50k at the minute, which should be all right. Annoyingly, it doesn't show you how much power you actually need. Oops, I took out block. Anyway, I'll figure out how other people automate this. Although we don't really need to automate it for long, do we? Because as soon as we get the nitro crystals, we can just grow them. So, yeah, maybe I won't automate it. I'll just manually do... I'll manually do it because we don't really need that many. Um... Where are we? Nitro crystals make nitro block makes this block makes those. So 9, 18, 27, 36. We do need quite a lot. We 
doing it quite a lot. I'll do that in between episodes. Because I'll just do it manually. Because there's no point automating it. Because as soon as we've got the nitro crystal seeds and the crooks, which isn't actually that bad, we'll never have to do it again. Anyway. So I'll probably add... Yeah, in fact, I'll add the nitro crystal one to our... Um, or the modium one. Because then there's like four quadrants. That will fill up that one quite nicely, actually. Because I think... I don't think we'll use that much. And if this just keeps going while we're doing other things, we'll probably have enough supply. If not, I can just... Create another layer? Yeah, could create another layer. Anyway. Yeah. So, I'll do that in between episodes. I do, however, think that's going to be it for this episode. Oh, we still have death. Do I need that one? No. Um, lots of progress made there. We've now got... I mean, we spent most of the episode making that sword that wasn't actually better. Maybe enchanting it will make it better. I don't know. But we did quite... We got quite a bit of setups for hostile neural networks. We may be ready to kill the, some pig liches and uh, sort them out next episode. Because I think they've only got 10,000 HP. So considering that we could kill the one with 15,000 reasonably easy, we'll give it a shot. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for this episode. I might do a little bit more building, figure out a roof. I might just continue with that for now so we've stopped the rain. Do a little bit more decorations. Maybe build another two more of those. Look at upgrading this guy so it could store more power. Not that not that we need it, really. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I am now back from my trip, as you can tell. So hopefully, and I've got some time off, so hopefully I'll do a few more videos extra. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed the episode. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.